good morning, kids. I'm glad you got to see me. I know I can't see you, but you get to see me, and I know it's making your day. And we want you to come and join us because we're going to have a great time of teaching and having some fun and doing some neat things in our life dynamics, Sunday school time. And so we want you to join us, okay? And so come, be a part, and I don't know if you'll get to see me every week, but you'll get to see some other teachers and have a great time with them. All right? God bless you. Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Bruce, and I got a special surprise for you tonight. Um, I'm old, really old, and I've heard a lot of Bible stories in my life. Like, I've heard so many Bible stories, it's crazy. And so I decided that I didn't need to study for this lesson tonight. I thought that I would just go ahead and tell you the way I thought it was, and you know, it would probably most of it would be right, even though I didn't really study for it. And so, this is the story is going to be about uh, Moses dividing the Red Sea. And I know you guys have heard that story. And I, I heard that story too. And I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to show you how he did it. You know, like I show you some tricks sometimes. And so, I'm going to show you how, how he did it. And, you know, this might not be what's in the Bible, but I'm pretty sure this is how it happened. Okay? First thing I think they did when all the, the children of Israel was going down to the Red Sea. That's when they got there and the Egyptians was behind them, you know. I think Moses got his trumpet in and he started playing his trumpet for the children of Israel to cross over the Red Sea and the Red Sea divided. And this is this is what he, how he did it. He went <laughs> I play the trumpet, I play 
the trump and then the, the seat part of that's what happened you know well, that's what happened right first off they, they did not play the music for the red sea that was jericho and i'm pretty sure at the battle of jericho baby shark wasn't playing well let me tell you this you have a bucket of water right there right let me just see this is what i did i'm gonna play this trumpet and when you go ahead and throw that bucket of water and you throw it right on me and it's not going to touch me it's going to stop right in the midair because i'm going to be playing this song just like moses did well what do you think do you think if i throw this bucket of water that he's right and the water's going to stop it's going to stop right here it's going to or do you think i'm right i'm right okay we'll prove it and you guys can see who's right and who's wrong because you know what i heard a lot of bible stories and i didn't study for this one but i'm right anyway and this is how it the water stopped I know what was wrong. Moses had a magic stick. I remember now. He had a magic stick. And this is what he did. Stick two. I have a magic stick. And Moses took his magic stick. And when the he got to the Red Sea, he just smashed the stick down. Or he stuck it out or he did something and it split right in half so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hold my magic stick out just like Moses did and and I know this this magic stick is gonna stop the water and I'm just gonna hold it out like that and Isabella you can get another bucket of water and you can try to throw it on me again and when I hold this stick out like Moses had his magic stick you know what's going to happen? It's going to stop that water. And you know what, kids? Just because just because Baby Shark didn't make the water stop, it don't mean that this magic stick is not going to make the water stop. This magic stick is going to work because it worked for Moses. And it's going to work for me. That's just the way it works. Are you ready with another bucket of water, Isabel? Okay, okay. Who do you think is going to be right this time? I mean, we were already right once. Whose side do you choose? Mine? Or mine. Or I'm pretty old, so you know I'm probably right. This is what was going to happen. This stick is magic, just like Moses's. It even has a magic monkey on it. So I'm going to hold this magic stick up because it's magic, and the water is going to stop right there, just like the Red Sea did, and and just like Moses did it. I'll... Go ahead. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. You know what? I know what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. It was Moses was so strong. That's what it was. Moses was so strong that he divided the Red Sea with his stick because he was so strong. I needed to hold the stick with two hands. That is the only thing I did wrong. So, I need to use my power. I'm going to roll my sleeves up because Moses probably rolled his sleeves up. Do I look strong, guys? Okay, so I'm so strong, I'm gonna hold the stick like, I'm gonna hold the stick like this. And and I'm gonna make my muscles strong, okay? And when that water gets right here, it's gonna stop. It's gonna stop right there, and it's not gonna touch me. Now this is the third time. So, who do you think is right? Quick, say it out loud. Do you think he's right? Or do you think he's gonna get soaked again? I'm not gonna get soaked again. I know. Ready?
if it's they're right or not. Because really, Ugh. it's only true when it's from the Bible. Okay, okay. I actually have a Bible right here. And I'm going to go to the Bible, and I'm going to read that Bible, and I'm going to tell you guys what the Bible says happened instead of just making up what I thought happened. So, down with that stick. And this is what the Bible says about Moses leading the children of Israel across the Red Sea. And it's probably going to say that I was right. I just did something wrong. I made a mistake. And then it says in Exodus chapter 14, And the angel of the Lord went before Israel. You know, the angel of the Lord, when it talks about the angel of the Lord, that's Jesus. So Jesus was actually there. And then, so Jesus was with him. Wow, and it came between the Egyptians and the children of Israel. And then it says, And Moses stretched his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back. <gasps> that was what it was. I thought Moses did it. Moses didn't do it. It said the Lord did it. So no wonder I couldn't do it by playing baby shark, or with the stick, or with the strongness, or anything else. Because it wasn't Moses at all. It was actually God. And it says, And the Lord caused the sea to go back with a strong wind and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the children of Israel went through the sea in the middle of it on dry ground. Wow, I wished I was dry right now. Look, even my head got wet on that last one. Knocked my hat off, and that's a cool Red Sox hat. I know everybody wants one of those. And they went on dry ground. And it says that the Egyptians pursued after them. Uh-oh. That's pretty, that's pretty scary. And even though they went in the sea, all of Pharaoh's horses and chariots and horsemen chased after the children of Israel. And it came to pass that the Lord looked on the Egyptians. Wow! There was the Lord did it again and not Moses. I thought Moses did all this. It wasn't Moses at all. It was the Lord. And he said, and the, it says, And the Lord looked at the host of the Egyptians and troubled them and took off their chariot wheels. He took off their chariot wheels. The Lord did that. So that the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord fights their battles against the Egyptians. And then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the waters, and the sea will come back again upon the Egyptians and upon their chariots and upon their horsemen. And Moses stretched his hand, and the sea returned. And it overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. So, wow! You know what I learned tonight? I learned two th a lot of things. I learned that probably the children of Israel didn't play baby shark at the, at the Red Sea. They played Baby Shark at the Wall of Jericho, right, Isabella? No! Oh, okay. No Baby Shark. I, th they, they, I don't know what they played. But they, they could have played Baby Shark. You think? No? Okay. She said no. Anyway, I learned that they didn't play the trumpet at the Red Sea. I learned that Moses' stick wasn't magic, and Moses wasn't that strong. And really, it was all the Lord that did it, and the Lord divided the sea, and the Lord delivered them, and the Lord saved Israel. And I learned that I'm really wet and cold for, because I did not study the Bible like I should have. Well, I hope that was a good lesson, you guys. We hope you come back and you watch next week, and I wonder, who's going to be on here? Can you guess it? And is someone else going to get soaking wet? <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching, and uh, I trust you'll join us next week. We're going to be doing this uh, through the month of May, maybe June, I don't know. We're going to do it for quite a few weeks. We want you to join us. I think every week there's going to be a new speaker, and so you know, we're not going to tell you who they are. Maybe you just try to figure it out. You can have a guessing game and uh, see, okay, who's going to be speaking this week? And so you never know. So join us uh, next week also. Uh, we're going to have a great time. Thank you.